Teddy Bassels. Peace, bro. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, so this meeting was set up by your boy. Um, mm -hmm. well, now nah, I won't say a long time coming, but you know, a decent amount of time coming. Um, he told me a little bit about. He sent me like an informational packet on like what you do, and um, it was kind of. It seemed to be like a promotional thing. Um, you know, obviously I buy and sell houses. I kind of educate people if they're interested on how to you know get in on the off market game how to get in on wholesaling um putting together financing uh how to use creative financing strategies um and just various things that i've condensed together over a decade or so and now just kind of speed up other people's processes or whatnot um, so i'm in the middle of a couple of projects now myself i plan on increasing volume in 2020 um, and just really just taking this thing to the next level and more content, more videos, more pictures, more walkthroughs, et cetera. Um, and just overall, just, you know, just moving money around and capital, matching capital with ideas and intentions and, and, and qualified people and just making some things happen. So, I mean, I'm really just trying to just take it to a whole nother level uh, mm -hmm. in 2020. Indeed. Uh, so what type of, um, What's the what type of different programs you have as far as uh you know from start to finish from uh you know a person looking to or seeking to to have property or buy property? Uh well I um uh, I can in short in short as far as like being able to handle it all. Um and and, and let me make sure that I have let me make sure that I have your name correct. It's 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 Neopolis. Uh, so my so I go by the name Neopolis Malik Malachi, but okay. uh but on uh online everybody knows me as Hellraiser. We can go with that. Okay. Um, we can go with that. Um, so as far as just like A to Z, bro. As far as <laughs> A to Z, you know whether someone were in a were in a financial and credit position, um, to now be able to attain and obtain capital in order to get into these projects. You know, I'm 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 into credit repair, getting people's files where they need to be in order to obtain capital. Um okay. so we could start at the very basis of that. Okay. Um, then but as far as and I even I have this as example deals on my page where there's a I uh I I got someone and this is kind of the you know what I'm putting together now, the full package. I can get someone the project the loan to do the the loan to actually do the project, the contractor to do the work if they want to build it into their budget. Okay. If they want to build it into their budget for me to run the rehab for them, I can do that. Uh, if they want to keep it as a rental, I can get them the loan to get it refinanced uh, into a long-term loan because we're going to start it off initially as a uh, construction loan to, to do the fixing up of the house. Mm -hmm. um, so I can get it refinanced for them. I can get a tenant placed in there. I can get a tenant placed in there for them. Um, and we can also run the property management or the management of the property so that they never have to deal with tenants. So pretty to, to answer your question, Hill Razor, like to answer your question, literally everything, full okay. service, A to Z, um, rentals, flips, uh, you know, one to four units. I'm actually a lot of the deals that I've been finding and putting together. Uh, I'm more so now wanting to get into more so strategic partnerships because just to be fully transparent there's a lot of everybody's a coach everybody's selling a package everybody's selling everybody's a coach everybody's selling a package everybody is selling information and mentorship mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. fact of the matter is my natural apprehension at all times is okay if the information is so worth is, is so worthwhile or is, is so valuable why are they selling it and mm -hmm. i'm even asking that to myself there's deals that i'm selling off now or i sold off recently and I'm selling off now here, Razor, that now that the position that I'm in between having relationships with lending, having relationships with contractors, having relationships to be able to get material at discounted prices, et cetera, I'm even questioning myself on why I'm selling off some of these deals or make five grand, seven grand, ten grand. But, you know, I can go down the list of some numbers. Like I got a deal right now where I'm getting the guy the property, the contractor, and the loan. 
and I'm going to make $6,500 on the deal, but when he fully fixes it up, he's going to sell it for $40,000. Or right. I'm sorry, he's going to make like $40,000 on the deal. Mm-hmm. So I'm more so interested in a lot of these deals that I'm finding mm-hmm. and the processes that I'm putting together in order to make these things available to other people. To be honest, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to keeping them. So yeah. just to kind of just put my money where my mouth is, and, you know, there's one thing to be a salesman to constantly solve these deals. This is a great rental. This mm-hmm. is a great to put in your portfolio, et cetera. Yeah. You know, if it were me looking at this from the other side, okay, if it's because it, other people that approach me about deals, and my natural response to them is, okay, would you buy this deal? And the answer right. to that question, if I were asking myself, so if I'm p- pitching now, the answer is yes. Mm-hmm. So outside of it being something that I don't want or if I'm just too tied up in what I'm doing right now, I'll sell something off. I'll pass something off because the methods, the methods that I go about in trying to find properties, you're not just going to find one. Even if you're just looking for one deal, you're, you know, if I'm going through all the foreclosures, if I'm going through all the delinquent taxes, if I'm going through all the abandoned ones, if I'm going through all the ones, you know, that meet certain criteria, you're not just going to find one house. You're going to find nine or 10 or 12. You're going to find nine, maybe, you know, two strong two strong possibles and one absolute, right? So that being said, um, and then especially the bigger, better deal, where it's like there's 100K, 150K gross to be had, I could sell that deal with my eyes closed for a $10,000 quick check, or I could just get into it for the longer ride and then be in at 110 gross, 120 gross. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So just to be fully transparent, like I could sell off deals, I could find me a five. I, I now grow in my business. I know what it would take. Like, I think your assistant probably found me from a, from a flyer that I've been posting, uh, that showed how I made 20 grand in one month, the month of November using other, without using any of my money. If all goes well this month, I'll probably have like another $10,000 a month. I now know what it takes bills wise, assistance wise, systems wise, information flowing wise. Like, I know what it takes to scale that and get it to where I'm consistently making 20 grand a month. And I could line people up. Like, I have the ability, as I just detail, I could line somebody up with four or five bread and butter rentals in a year where they're netting, you know, 600 per house, 700 per house, you know, boring, four bed, two bath, 1,100 square foot, nondescript home where you're netting 650, right? Like, I could line somebody else up with that. But I also have the ability to get in on those deals at such a bottom barrel price to where now I can essentially get into those deals, no money down with creative financing and structuring in a way that I could do it, you know? Yeah. So now, you know, just to kind of explain myself, the information that the deals and information that I've been selling off to other people, it's now getting to a point where it's not like I do my consulting call. I do my coaching call. I do my consulting call. I walk people through stuff. But now I'm interested in working with people who actually have capital and who are ready to go. If someone needs credit repair or if they need to get in a position where they can have some capital to invest, I'll, you know, I'll take that person on as a client. But like a deal that I sold the day before Thanksgiving, uh, a 35 purchase, 55 rehab, all in 90. It's going to be worth 120 when it's done. He can refi out at 75%. So he can pull that 90 back out, essentially have a renovated house for free. But a $90,000 project. One of my buddies, he got into that project for $9,300. The fact of the matter is, I could have bought that deal. And if yeah. anything, it's going to be a completely renovated house. Everything's going to be new and plush and brand new and highly desirable to anyone who wants to rent it. His mortgage is going to be 1000 bucks a month. Section 8 is going to pay 1650 He's going to net $650 per month forever. Right? So, okay, mm-hmm. it costs you 9300 bucks to get into the deal where you can pull that, where you can use, you know, a line of credit or pull some money off of a credit card in order to get into that deal. And and now again, it costs ninety three hundred bucks to get into the deal. Day one, you're pulling back. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Year one, you're pulling in eighty four. I'm sorry, six hundred. Yeah, seventy eight hundred dollars per month. I'm sorry, seventy eight hundred dollars in a year uh, in net income. So by midway through year two, you now have every everything reimbursed. Yeah. Right, and you own that thing forever. So I know I'm being a bit long winded, but to answer your question, what can I do for someone who wants to get involved in real estate? Everything. Gotcha. In short, are you so? Are you uh, are are you also entertaining the uh, specifically the Airbnb market? 
So that's that's also what I'm wanting to get into next. So again, in the hotter, sexier areas where Airbnb would kill it, like I have like a potential deal on the table now that I could, with my mm-hmm. eyes closed and with the network and following that I built, I could sell that deal with my eyes closed, or I could do the deal myself. I'm looking to do two re- regular rentals per quarter mm-hmm. next year for a total of eight, and I'm looking to get into selected uh, Airbnb. Uh, project and again like in the competition and the barrier for entry is low here and i talk to one of my buddies about this all the time because a lot of stuff that's on airbnb here in chicago uh a lot of times it's like people's extra apartments or their extra condo or just something they have left over people don't there isn't an influx yet of people buying stuff totally renovating it for Airbnb. The of airbnb you see what i'm yeah. saying so it's a lot of people's eyes and ends and left over scraps exactly. so that being said I have an ability and a system and processes and people set up to be able to get stuff before it hits market, before it's a, before it's a bidding war, before mm-hmm. you get out price. I can find stuff, including in the best neighborhoods, um, to be able to do this with. So, again, that's the long of it. But in short, am I looking to get into Airbnb? Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so that, that's my thing. You know, that if, you know if, I, if I decide, you know, I wanted to jump into real estate. That would be the absolute direction I'll be going there first, you know, uh, in conjunction with a lot of other things. But, um, you know, I you know, I just wanted to have to get a, you know, generalized understanding on, you know, different things that you already, you know, pretty much have up under wraps so I can uh, sort of determine what would be the best route uh, in as far as collaboration-wise and stuff like that. No. Everything, man. Contractors that I can I can drop money with or wire or send money to and don't have to stand on top of. Connections to be able to get material at good prices. Inability to get get eyeballs on properties and get to owners or get to heirs of owners before they hit Zillow, before they hit Redfin. Um, just, yeah, and a bit skip tracing technology to get the accurate phone numbers before before anybody else so not numbers off of like been verified and spokio and white pages and true people search like you know and, and i'll i'll throw this out i'll throw this out there now man like you know a lot of people like i said i'm not trying to be a real estate guru i and i tell everybody this on my call that you know they call they compensate me for my time i give them a game plan i talk to them about what they need to do like you know, I want them to follow this information, and I want the call that we have to be the before call. And then a year later, we're talking about them finishing their third or fourth joint. But whether they do or whether they don't, I'm going to utilize and use the information that I'm giving. So right. the stuff that I'm talking to you about now, I'm doing. You hear the passion in my voice. I'm going to do this stuff. Um. So yeah, when you ask me what can I do or what do I have available, all of it. And I'll say this: like I don't do real estate part time. Like I hoop three times a week and do real estate and that's it. I don't really go out. I don't really hang out. I don't really, you know, like I don't really do anything else. So this isn't like, this isn't like something I read or I'm kind of trying to sort of do. Like I, I stare at spreadsheets all day. I remember, you know what I mean? Like people shoot me addresses and zip codes and I shoot them back my instant analysis. I used to spend every Sunday, in 2018 i pay somebody to do this now every sunday in 2018 before the games would come on i would get in my car and i would do what's called driving for dollars so i'd drive the neighborhoods i would make maps and i would pick certain zip codes of certain neighborhoods that i wanted to get information or wanted to get leads in and i would drive from 8 to 11 i would come to the crib i would shower i would eat and i would turn the games on at noon noon central uh and then i would just be on my computer uh putting together the spreadsheets and looking up owners for the rest of the day and then i would spend the week cold calling those people I used to put out my own bandit signs. I buy housing signs. I used to do my own uh, spreadsheets. I used to look up my own, all of that. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to just, you know, that level, not, you know, not, I don't even want to say dedication, but just, you know, kind of qualifying myself. Like, this yeah. is real estate's like not a hobby for me. Mm-hmm. It's in exercising two or three times a week, and that's it. So it's a lifestyle, basically. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, um, all right, so now when we're dealing with so we got so we got two different types of people. We have we have the investors and we have like the general clients that just want to ha- that just need a house, right? So mm-hmm. as far as the okay, 
if we start with the the the, uh, the basic, we're well, not the basic, the uh, general uh, audience as far as people that just need ha uh, you know houses for families and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Now, once we, of course, okay, we have we have a service uh, services to uh, you know restore credit and build them up to the point of getting finance and uh, for the mortgage and everything like that. Now, when we get when we get to accomplishing that and getting the, uh, the individuals into the house. Uh, I'm f I'm focusing in on the system that or alternative options to to uh to remove the liability to the mortgage of that property. Yeah, I've heard about that. I've been I've heard about that and I've been spoken to about like just the legalities of mortgages and how some there are few individuals that are that are that are that are informed enough to kind of work around these kind of western pagan systems that we have in order to like excuse themselves for mortgages i i've been wanting to make the time to kind of study study and get into it but obviously you know i i'm i'm, I'm pretty up yeah. to my neck and what i got going on but no fill me in yeah so so my objective would be to uh um well well first off a uh, little bit of my background i'm uh i i did um uh, Yale University, Harvard University for contract law, and also the University of London. Um, I, I'm real deep into different forms of uh, contract and international law. Um, now, what I what I educate people on is is um, is going into the contract correctly. You know, by reserving reserving your rights within the contract. See, the pro the problem is we uh, people tend to we contract on a day to day basis, whether we downloading apps. You know, we just down, we just download, we just download the shit. Don't even look at the, you know, the disclaimers. Read, you know, uh, all, all the fine print. You know, before we press accept, you know, and agree. You know, and yeah. uh, you know, so we 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 contract every day, all day, whether we know it or not. Uh, now, yeah. when it, when it comes to these big contracts, is is even more important for us to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. You know. Uh, on the, the face value of it is, you know, you had the person that's presenting you with this mortgage contract, or even even at the same time this car loan contract, or or whatever, whatever. It's it's like you know they're telling you, they're explaining to you out your out your mouth. Well, this means this, this means that. Just sign here, right? But but it's like it's it's about ten thousand words on the page, though. You know, so so it, and then even if you took those, even if you took the time, we take the time and uh and take take all these documents home. We still wouldn't understand what the fuck you said. I mean, right. so because because that is that's just not our field, right? We're not, you know, most of us are not lawyers, are not attorneys, and or, or you're not uh, 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 mortgage experts on that particular level. So we just, you know, we might read it over, and then we say, hey, I like the home. It's a nice price. We we'll look at the interest rate. Okay, let's go. You know, yes. but but uh, in essence, we don't we don't understand how to go into contract, correct? So I, I, I educate people on how to reserve their rights up under uh, up under the contract through UCC 1-308 by way they sign the signature and I, uh, by uh, the 72 hour rule when you go into the contract, um, how you solidify your position within the contract to put yourself in a in a position of of the, of, of uh, non liability uh, because when we first go into the contract, we go into the contract as the debtor. And, but the proper position for everybody that signs on these promissory notes of performance bonds are actually the creditor. We are we are actually uh, guaranteeing the money, the funds, or the uh, or the financing that they so called the bank so called lends you. The bank doesn't right. so the bank doesn't lend anything because if if you hit, if you give me a mortgage contract for a hundred uh, for uh, two hundred thousand dollars, I sign off on it. And I give you a guarantee and security because you also ask and request by way of application my social security number. You said, I mean, now you now you have a double interest. You have a double security. First my signature, first, and then my social security number. You said, yeah. I mean, so the, the second I sign off on that, the mortgage company now now who knows if the immediate mortgage company is aware or involved in the. Uh, the, the, the multiple contracting that goes on behind closed doors along with as far as uh, the banks that's involved. It's a lot of ghosts and ghosts and shell banks involved into the into your particular transaction that nobody really knows about unless we go go deep into the back end. So yeah. so to, so point to prove that once you once we sign on, off on these agreements, that that note is already valued at two hundred thousand dollars, which it's already worth two hundred thousand dollars, which means they use that and trade and trade on these on these notes 
on the stock markets and other different uh, private, uh, private, uh, private sharing markets where where they're already reaping, they're already getting the two hundred thousand dollars for the product, which means you technically already paid paid it by way of signature because you guaranteed it. And they oh, double well. they you're du- they double dipping by putting you on a on a term loan agreement, you know, uh, you know, forever, you know, because the mortgage contract is probably the longest, uh, you know, payback contract that we have here uh, in America or whatever. So yeah, yeah. So so the whole objective is 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 to solidify. Most people still won't understand this information as far as uh, as far as pre- preventing situations before they happen. A lot of times we got to dig them out of the debt. You know, saying you know, if people were more educated on how to go into contract, things would be a lot easier. And it's the same thing with everything across the board. You know, child support, driver's license issues, everything. You see, yeah. so so what we would do is we 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 provide the, um, uh, you know, I can't really say the word because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna upload this to uh, to social media, uh, yeah. and it's certain certain aspects we have to keep private. But um, sure. basically, what we would do is we we would we would counter we would counter the contract the mortgage contract and we would provide evidence like like it's one thing like a lot of people in this in this field you know send a, send a lot of dispute letters out and stuff like that 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 may be that may have some truth and fact to it but but it's, but technically it's just accusation it could yeah. be true it could be true but it's accusation so you have actual proof in relation to the exact contract that we talked about right now. So we so we we will, we will pull the exact we we will provide for the lack of better uh, the actual terms we will provide an actual report that shows from point A to point Z from this, this joint is like thirty to forty pages long certified showing the from for the, uh it it showed the chain of command of the mortgage company the bank rather it was Chase. Chase that was in cahoots with with uh with U.S. Bank that was in cahoots with with uh, Bank of you know what I'm saying it, it goes all down the line and, the, and each bank has a multitude of other co- trust companies that's involved into these transactions which right. the, the client was not aware that right there is uh is breach of contract because for failure to fully disclose information oh, one oh, wow so it just so so when you, when you when we present these type of reports. Uh, you know, by administrative processes to to these banks in relation to these mortgages, these people don't even want to. Sh- these people these people disappear because they don't want to show. They don't want to go nowhere near court with this type of information because they don't want this, they don't want they don't want this type of evidence of of banking fraud to be to be a public record. You see what I mean? So this so 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 we're dealing with this. We're both uh, you know uh, uh, mortgages, auto loans, and student loans. I, I try to focus in on the on the, on the areas that that uh, consist of the biggest debt. So, if we, so if I can eliminate, if I create a solution to eliminate these areas of debt, this this a puts our people in in a, in a position to have capital and to uh, you know bring ourselves up out into up into a new uh, a higher class as far as you know um, uh, economically. You know what I'm saying? So I love it. No, that's 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 my focus in as far as uh, in, in in conjunction with the real estate game uh, that I want to zero in on. Uh, you know, I've been spending a lot of time perfecting uh, these processes, but now I'm ready to you know to create uh, co- you know strategic partnerships to start uh, you know ironing this stuff out and extend this this uh, information out to the people. I love it, man. I would love to be an arm or an extension of what you got going on because, like I said, you know, I've I've, I've spoken to some buddies about this. And I don't even want to minimize what you're saying, but I love I love a good loophole probably more than most people. Mm-hmm. I love uh, I don't even want to call it conspiracy theory because it is what it is. I don't want to just call it conspiracy theory just because it's 40 pages long. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm all into these things. Um, and <laughs> legally, <laughs> legally, legally beating the other side. And and, and 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 beating them at their own game, uh, mm-hmm. using paperwork processes, and being and having our stuff together administratively. I'll mm-hmm. never not have a soft spot in my soft spot in my heart for that. Um, so this is already stuff that's wetting my whistle. Um, let's talk about some results. Let's talk about some battles that you've had. Let's talk about some uh, some victories that you've had by going through these processes. Well, well the. First, I have my processes. Uh, the first process of every process is, uh, you know, education. So 
I'm uh, I just I just recently received uh, you know my uh, my certification to be able to even provide this particular service. I can't I can't I can't specify exactly what that is yet. I mean uh, as far as on uh, to the public uh, because of competitors and everything else. Um, but uh, offline, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, uh, as far as uh, now, before I'll tell you this. So this stuff is this stuff is fresh meat right off the grill. Put it like that. Yeah. This fresh meat right off the grill. And I, I mentioned three major things. I mentioned I mentioned auto loans, uh, student loans, and uh, and mortgage mortgage loans. Now these are three major and separate individual things which took so so which means so each i so i have to I have to, I have to take time to zone zone in and uh into each one of these areas and go through each process individually you see what i mean so right now the first the first the first uh the first uh uh response i had and the target i had was with auto loans so we got, we've already went through the full process and i had some i had, I had some buddies out um uh, out in atlanta that uh went through the process cuz uh you know so you know when you first when you first get your hands on new things or whatever like that you got to go through trial and error and apply it first of you course. know for you know we could decide okay how long does, does this service take how long should this service cost what type of pay options do we have well, like how do we how do we do this you see what i mean but but first let, how do we guarantee uh, what type of guarantee can we put on the service so right. of course just like with anything, just like just like even with the dope game, you gotta you gotta give you gotta give some away first. You see what That's I mean? So. so I start so so it's free labor. So I start, you know, offering the service or or semi free labor. So I start offering the service to people that was interested and in, who was not interested in getting rid of their goddamn car loans, uh uh mortgages and uh student loans. You see what I mean? So uh, everybody <laughs> You see what I mean? So so I so I I'm I'm not the type of the guy that that'll rush out and just try to hurry up and just you know, I, it, I don't need to because I know once I perfect, once I perfect the process in, uh, yeah. in the, with these individual uh, areas, it's, it's it's game time. We can go on the radio. We can go. We can do whatever we want to do at this point. So, it, so like I said, I, I just been uh, and, and it's time consuming. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to actually show you one of these reports because you have to see it. To, to, I can only you, imagine, man. Like I said, I do credit repair just to do, and I don't use just the regular 609 letter. I've got my own. I've got a method that I've spent some money uh, in learning and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, just start to finish to handle one person is like four hours of me on the computer. Exactly. Which you see, what I'm so I can only imagine some shit like this. Like, yeah, you preach to the choir, bro. I, I can yeah. only imagine a, a forty, a detailed forty-page report that makes that makes banks tremble in a courtroom. I can only imagine how long this shit is. Yeah, man. So it's like. You know, it's it's just uh I want I want now I want I want I want you to see it for the simple fact of for, so you can see what type of information we're pulling. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once, once you like I like I want you to like cause, cause I felt the same exact way when I first when I first came across it and I'm like damn and I'm I'm looking at it in the mind frame of not I'm not I'm not the mortgage company you know I'm not the I'm not the uh, you know the auto lender. I, I'm, but I, but it puts you in a mind frame like, damn, if I was if I was the the uh, you know the 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 CEO or CFO of of of, uh, of Bank of America and I got this joint in uh, some registered mail in my office, you know I would be like, huh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and zero out that account. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? No, that, yeah, that, just being able being able to look at it from the opposition side, going shit. If I got this in the mail, yeah, we just need to just go and yes. let him be. Yeah. Yes, we're taking, we're getting in for, we're getting accusive, we're getting accusive for, 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 for the promissory note for the mortgage. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 t- we take, we're getting information from off the Bloomberg report through, through the Bloomberg, I mean, through the Bloomberg terminal. We got mm-hmm. screenshots from the Bloomberg terminal showing the deduction from the, from, from the mortgage or auto or, uh, or, or uh, student loan calls from when the, from, from the date that the mortgage was, or, or, or the note was signed, showing that they got paid basically. <laughs> you see what oh, I mean? Wow. So, so when you when you check when you checkmate something like that, see we're not just see see even like with credit repair and stuff like that. I have a credit repair company as well. It's like it's like those are we're stating we're stating we're stating facts in law, but still it's act it's still a s- small form of accusations. Yeah, we're not like we're not we're not really digging into their back office like that. You see what I mean? We're just hitting mm-hmm. them with you know hopefully they just back down or whatever. 
Enough, yeah, enough to let them know we know yeah, what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah, and they don't want no lawsuits. And you start, you start hitting with intense to sues and blah, blah. Okay, I right, leave them alone. Go ahead and erase that off the credit, you know. Yeah, because so, complete side note, a, a, a group that I'm in that's, that's actually heavy into credit card point hacking and manipulation, you know, within bounds and legally, mm-hmm. um, what the founders of that group have now uh, started introducing in- information about arbitration with these credit card companies into our group. Cause it's okay. all kind of like, whether it be small wins or big wins, it's all kind of stuff that's probably out there waiting on us as users of these credit cards or whatever that we didn't know that of course, you know, they're not going to broadcast. So mm-hmm. yeah, arbitration is something that has caught my eyes as of late and people that, you know, colleagues and friends that I've made in that space have now and now started to go after um so yeah this seems to be right up my alley mm-hmm. are you are you uh as far as that's concerned uh in, on that topic are you familiar with the uh okay i gotta be kind of like me and you can can be 100 percent transparent i gotta remember we we gonna uh we're gonna share this uh yeah. okay so I, I okay we get we we have two things in, in in this world right we have debt and we have credit yeah. now Tech, technically, okay, they, they, they're different things, but technically, in, a, in, a, in some type of way, they're very similar. You see what I mean? It all depends on what side of the ledger that you're on, right? So, so people, so people are trying to, you know, uh, uh, run, you know, run away from debt, right? But w- once you once you get to a certain point, you stop in the middle. Like once you get to understanding exactly what debt is, what credit is, and how this this uh, United States of America corporation operates, right? So once we understand that, it's like we stop in the middle, we turn around like, wait a minute, and we start running back towards the debt. And you're like, what do you mean you start running back towards the debt? Once you start understanding the business aspect as far as the debt side of the, uh, the ledger, it's, it's all in the same depending on your position on that particular account, right? So it's like, so I'm, so I'll be running towards it. So right now I'm running towards the deck, making phone calls and making, making contacts, building relationships with, with, uh, you know, with debt recovery companies or, or companies that sell these type of profiles or accounts, right? So yeah. I, I, I'm the guy that looks for, I'll, I'll be call, I'll call your phone as uh you know you being a professional in that area like hey do, uh, do you have any do you have any zombie debt so that's so so that's the debt that that's 7 10 years old well after the statutes so you have you know the, after the time period 7 to 10 years 15 years old that 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 typically you can you can't really even collect on you know what I'm saying yeah. or, or be harder to collect so it's throwaway debt so I, i'm looking for a throwaway debt the stuff that you you're not really going to collect on anyway you know, and uh, so now I'm gonna get this this whole portfolio for uh, a, cu- a couple pennies on a dollar. You know, and now I'm gonna go to work because my intention is not now. Now it depends on my, what my perspective was. Now if I'm if, try, if I'm trying to buy this this uh you know this low budget debt or this, this zombie debt to try to collect on it, I'll lose, right? Because yeah. you know, that's that'd be stupid. But if I'm buy, if I'm purchasing this stuff to to use it. And leverage it to to, to uh, put myself in a, in a in the opposite position of the ledger as far as being the creditor of the debt by assigning that debt to myself or to to other profiles that I desire, whether it's myself, my clients, my partners. So so I have so I, hey bro, I got I, I got a new portfolio, got about uh, five thousand five thousand new accounts. Uh, you need anything? Uh, well, yeah, I have a couple clients that need. You know, I'm so okay. I X Y Z X Y I I I shoot you ten over. You see what I mean? It, well, it, who would, who would, why would that debt be desirable to anybody? Okay, so let's say, all right, let's say, uh, okay, so so we we, we take we taking clients to through uh, through the process. So first first things first, uh, credit credit, right? So it's either they have it or they need it, right? So it's either or. So if they need it, we're going after after the credit repair process. The next thing is what we we had a lot of clients that that. That we, they, we had to do a complete extermination. We had to completely wipe out everything in his own damn credit. So after that, now they have what? Zero credit. So now we have to establish trade lines and stuff like that. So we can either go the traditional route by, by purchasing trade lines, which which are expensive for the client and could be even more expensive for the client if if we if we tend to make some type of profit off the trade lining. But other than that, it's still an expensive process uh, right. in general. So. So what I'm saying is we'll be cutting out the middleman 
by going by doing the and then and then not only the middleman, we we won't be dealing with the authorized users thing. See, see, a lot of the banks and lenders are getting hit with authorized the users. These are primaries. I I mm-hmm. I purchase the whole the whole body profile of debt. I'm the wow. owner, which means I'm I'm the assigner, and I can assign the debt reassign I reassign the debt to any profile I want. And guess the beauty wow. about it is now it's a primary, and not only is it a primary when it reflects when 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 the, when the pro it's when that a, account an age primary and and you can reassign it however you want because you're now the creditor because you own the debt and it's in the positives now so so if that was if the debt was ten years old it's going to reflect ten years of positive debt on the new profile now not not the because negative. you have the option as the creditor when people like write goodwill letters and shit like that you have the op they have the option of changing the history they just never want to yep but if you know. it's your debt that you own you can now. Wow. Yep. Yeah, without you even finishing your statement, like I already knew. I deal in trade lines and AUs and stuff like that, too. And, like, people can buy AUs all the time, but people can't really get their hands on primaries because, in general, with anything, nobody ever wants to do the dirty work. And there's no warehouse warehouse or database of a bunch of primaries because nobody ever thinks to buy a bunch of primaries, own them, and control them, and then do the things necessary to change them and add Mm -hmm. names to them. Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. See, so yeah, without you even finishing it, I already seen where that could go. Mm-hmm. You know, just like even with like everybody wants real estate properties. Nobody wants to do the things necessary to get to get to them before they hit Zillow. Everybody wishes they could just log on Zillow and then they would right. be available for them. Right. Not realizing everybody on the planet can see Zillow. The name yep. of the game is getting getting in the trenches and digging in the ground and digging up the worms before they come up. Before it comes so public. Same, yeah. same thing with the primaries. Yeah, like you either create the primary or you buy a bunch of bad primaries and then you now become the creditor. You can do whatever you want with them, including sell them off. Yep. yep. Wow. With, with that type of firepower, bro, collectively, we could do some serious changes because 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 that because that puts us in a position where we can guarantee damn near we, well not guarantee damn near we can guarantee anything that we need and a claim needs you know so we we can, can we get all the negatives nuked off their account and then you can just add them some age primary positives damn near overnight or you could probably do this process in a couple of weeks yeah. now you could change somebody's whole financial landscape. Uh, with things that you own and control. You're not going, like you said, you're not going to a middleman. You're not reaching out. You're not buying AU. You're not going to, through some third party. It's your debt that you're reassigning to people. Now, you just said a key, two key words, uh, uh, ownership and control. So mm-hmm. so that so that's another model uh, that needs to be uh, uh, re-understood as far as uh, – Ownership versus control. Now, yeah. now if we go if we go back and look at the richest the richest guys in history. On their deathbed, they, they didn't own nothing. Nothing was attached to their name, yeah. so it's not so so it's all about own nothing, control everything. Which Correct. which is why which is why which is why I I you know I, uh, my main corporate my main company uh, Trade Capital uh, we deal in uh, you know uh, uh, trust planning. And business, business formation, and business structure, business development, things of that nature. So we build, we build the companies from from ground up, uh, whether it's the business trust or the LLC that's owned by the business trust. Like, like we, we don't put we don't put our people in, in as far as uh, the uh, in the in the liability position of ownership. Only the only position of control. You see what I mean? So so they yeah. so we create the entities. We put the place them outside the entities in the position of control, and we utilize the trust corporations or entities to to own and hold the property. So 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 into real estate, I, I will be focusing in on the like the land trust, you know, building land trust. So we put these properties into, you know, and we keep duplicating that particular process. Um, they're trying to show man. I thought, we, I thought we got lost. I was I was you was you was, you was preaching a sermon. The 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 matrix got to cut in on us. Yeah, man, they, I got j- thrown out the matrix back into the real world. <laughs> back in the matrix. Man, so on, bro. Keep it man, going. bro. So I mean, so so own nothing, control everything. So we so we would take the time to um to 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 rebuild and restructure, you know, that aspect of the game before you know we uh recommend you know the people to to go go knees deep into anything as far as obtaining assets and things like that. So uh, because 
that's the only that's the only way we can we can truly uh sustain and protect our our wealth once we start generating it you know what i'm saying protect yep. our and protect our names because you better believe once money start dropping in them bank accounts and you know we keep signing these contracts tied to the you know tied to that social security number which is the tracking device you know now you got now you got all these people all up in all up in your sauce and you know, and all this stuff is and you know what to be honest with you just in in general a general aspects of safety you know what I'm saying? If a person, per, person, if a person has enough resources, you know, it don't take a lot. They have your, your your license plate number. They can they they can find out where you live. You know, they can uh, you know, if you lose your wallet, your wallet your wallet ha, ha, has your, your another another contract in there. Your driver's license. They got now you get now they got your address. And they can knock right on there. Knock, knock right on your on, on your door. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it's like now I, I'm like now if I if I if I lose my wallet. They gon they gonna be uh they gonna be going straight to the UPS store, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I don't I I remove the power for anybody to be able to for any of these agents or agencies to be able to directly address me. So we have we have two we have two, two words, but 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 look they look the same but they're different. So we have we have we I have an address and then the power to address. So it's like. Uh -huh. So just that address alone, see, it, like people talk about like status correction and stuff like that. That's the, the just the simplest but most important areas. Remember, if we move, if we remove the power uh, to address for a person to address you directly, and you put you put a third party to intervene and to communicate and to relay information uh, back and forth between you and and whatever agent or agency, how can they ever serve you? You know, how can they ever hold you liable? That address oh, is very important. They can. Yeah. yeah. The address is very important. So so we utilize if we utilize certain things to uh you know to update this information, you know, because we know they all sharing our information. So I take advantage of that. And I take advantage of the technology and stuff like that, where the information that I want them to see, I make sure I put it in there so they can see it. So and I give it to the right person so they can share it along with their buddies. You see what I mean? So now, so now they, 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 they you know, they, they, they run my name, they run whatever. It's still gonna come back to the same source that I, that, that I uh, set, set. So like my, my house is my home. You know, that's my, that's my sanctuary. Like that's not, that's not public. That's private. So we, yeah. we mix, we mix in private and public. That, that, that's the problem. Same thing with the, with the cell, with the cell phone numbers. Because when, when we get that, when we get that, uh, that cell phone uh, service, we're giving them our address. You know, we're giving them my address. You know, uh, uh, e same thing with emails. We're using these public email services. You know what I'm saying? They they say they're protecting our privacy, yeah, to a certain degree, to a certain extent, up until a particular point. You know, but we start off and, and changing these bad habits of automatically just giving these people our personal information. Like, are they giving, are like, like, do we know, do we know where the CEO of this company that we signed up getting our information, do we know where he live at? Can we just go to his house? No, we can't. Do we got his cell phone number? No, no, we don't. And do you we know? even know? Do we even know the the, the 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 protections or the security in which they're keeping the information we voluntarily giving them? Do we even know the levels in which they they should be entrusted with this information? The answer is no, because this data breaches every damn day now. <laughs> every day. Besides the fact that the contracts that we signed buried within it inside zero font them telling you that they they them plainly telling you that they sell they sell mm -hmm. the information mm -hmm. they sell the information that they tr that they halfway keep private and then the other half of it they just go conveniently lo lose every week mm -hmm. <laughs> home depot and starwood hotels and Experian data breach and this and this shit is a data breach every week, bro. Man, nah, bro, it's, it's it's sad and they 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 killing us with ads. It's like it's to the point now. It's like we don't you don't even know like you'll be looking up. It's damn near. I feel like sometimes I'll be thinking about something and I see I see it appear on Amazon or appear, yeah. appear on Facebook ads and stuff like that. It, it's, it's getting they're getting real sophisticated, you know, with this yeah. technology and this data sharing. That data is the, like data actually is is one of the most valuable resources on this planet. It's all I, about absolutely. It. I mm -hmm. think a lot of people, bro. I think a lot of people don't understand that. The, the, it, it's, it's, it's all about the data. Whether we're talking real estate, whether we're talking anything else, it's absolutely about the data. That's mm -hmm. why all of these companies. That's why like they make these nice, flowery, homogenized buttons and screens to to get you to 
accept okay to accept cookies on your phone and opt into these things and to get your email address is absolutely about data. It's absolutely about contact points. It's absolutely mm-hmm. about phone numbers, email, uh, email addresses. In my mm-hmm. business alone, mm-hmm. the lifeblood of my business is getting the best phone numbers on people. Because mm-hmm. if I get the best phone number, now that's the quickest way for me to get in contact with somebody who owns a property. And if I can get there before you, whether even if you were going to offer 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 20,000 more to me, I can give my speech. I can give my, I can give my presentation, my pitch to the person who owns that property before you can. So by the yeah. time that you get around to offering a bigger or better offer, I already have it in the contract and we move it towards the closing. So I absolutely like, it's all about the data. It's mm-hmm. all about the data. And it's all about finding more and easier and more efficient ways to get the good data mm-hmm. so that now you can so now that you can monetize and monopolize on top of it. Yeah. It's fucked up as it sounds. Yeah, yeah, and I mean that's the reality. You know? Yeah. And and people need to know the reality, you know, uh even though it, it it can get a lot harsher than that. But we can't keep we can't keep running away from it just because it don't sound good or we don't you know what I'm saying? We 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 have to we have to realize exactly what's going on. And uh, at the present moment, and we got, re- and then we got to realize how far behind schedule that we at, you know, and then where we need to be at in the near future. And be aware of that. Be self-aware of that. The the level of being able to look in the mirror and say, okay, this is a problem. I'm not as advanced or developed in this. I need to put some time and some effort into this, and I need to step my game up here. I think the majority of people in general don't have the ability to even have that moment with themselves, but especially a lot of our people. The yeah. ability to say, I need to step my shit up. I'm not doing enough. I'm not going hard enough. I'm not studying enough. Or I'm not I'm part- I'm not participating at a level that's going to be advantageous to me, and I need to change that. I think that people, self-awareness in business and in personal, and I was talking to my girl about this last night, like self-awareness is something that a lot of people lack, but especially within our community. The ability to... The ability to get in your own ass. The ability yeah. to say, I ain't doing enough and yeah. mean it. Yeah. The ability to say it and mean it and own it, yeah. I think, is lost on a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. You just said another another key thing. I, I think uh, in, in exact relation to what you said, because because people are, our people are trying to mirror the things that they're seeing on that on that tube. You know what I'm saying on that on that on that screen. You know, rather that, than is that, the, that is that is that is the replication, or mm. or is the is the is the we're trying to mirror things that are the the byproduct of people that have processes and legs up and steps up and mm-hmm. you know what I mean, like yeah. that, that we didn't have. It's, the, it's, it's like trying, it's like being a kid at home and you trying to do the wrestling moves you see on TV. They mm-hmm. practice that shit and they're not trying to hurt each other. Mm-hmm. You jumping off the stairs at your mom's house on top of your brother. Like this ain't gonna go how it goes on on Monday Night Raw. But but you know okay, but you know what? It's like we're mimicking. You know, it's not necessarily a problem to try to emulate and mimic sure. something. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is, is the type, is it, the category that 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 we're mimicking. Like we're like we we're we're focused on you know the, the low grade. You know what I'm saying? The, the like 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 our people's perception of like like success and money is very low standard. You see, what I mean, my yeah. my personal opinion, because because I mean, it, that's just a reality yeah, for as far as the majority of our people, because the people that they think are really doing it ain't doing nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it's not low key. It's not even to the point. It's not to the. It's, sometimes it's not to the point till you get to a certain level of success that that you even realize it. Because I ain't gonna lie, the some of the same people I thought was like, man, 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 you know, man, man. Gonna get like that, get a, you know. It's not until you start moving up to a certain level of success to the point where you you look up one day, you bumping shoulders with these people. With some, yeah, I've had that. a few smaller moments like that, but yeah, individuals who just even in my profession, I looked at them from afar, and I just you know had a certain reverence for them, and then you get to know them a little bit more, and this is a natural progression. It ain't nothing personal. Yeah, if yeah. you get close to them, and you pick their brand a little bit, or now y'all have some level of kinship or friendship, and you're talking more. And you realize what they know and you don't know, and it's just a level. I've had a lot of moments myself where it's just like, wait a minute, like <laughs> you've been in this this long, or you know, you mentioned something that you know, or a process that you go through, and then someone goes, well, how'd you do that? How'd you know about that? And then your natural your response is, well, like 
How did you not know that? Right, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm like, saying? Like, I'm new here. Like, <laughs> right. so you didn't know that? Right. Okay. Yeah, I've had a few of those you moments gotta go. in Chicago real estate. I've had a few of those moments where it's just like, what you mean, how? <laughs> But, did, did, so, you yeah. you realize the majority of the of of the face players out here are were great at one particular thing, salesmanship. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. so so because it takes a lot more time and effort and grind and, and you know just discipline, dedication, and determination to because th- this is what happens. I see a lot of people in a lot of different areas. No matter what industry, the game don't really change. It's like they it's like the, uh, uh, individual get their rocks off, right? And they and they and they just they just ride the wave or whatever. They, but and they stop perfecting it. You they stop perfecting processes. They stop. You know they they just focus on constantly. Okay, I'm gonna keep on. Like even if it's garbage, you know even even if a, if a process starts to fail, they really they don't they don't they don't say they don't. I would, I would put something at a complete halt. I don't care how much money is involved, how much money y'all making. Like 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 okay okay we want money. You know, we can use money. We need that to even build and grow, right? But but it's not at the sake of my credibility, for one. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and for two, for, for my personal sanity, I need to know something works before I sell it. You see what I mean? I need to know, you know what I'm saying, j- j- just off of that. You know, but that's not the integrity that's out here right now in general in a lot of different industries. And, and like I said, most of these guys are salesmen. You know what I'm saying? Like the like I'm talking about, you start bumping heads and, uh, and shaking hands with a lot of these guys, and you get in the room with them. You start building. You realize because because you still in the trench. You still you still zero. I, I'm I'm never satisfied. A lot of these guys get satisfied and comfortable real quick, and and that that's another problem that, of I feel like in our people. Like we not we not reaching and shooting high enough. You know what I'm saying? We we selling for a couple dollars for like I, I tell people if you, if your goal. If you feel like you should, you, you at the point of settlement because you got a nice car and a nice house, that's selfish. Because yeah. because you we we too far behind. Because now okay now you pass away, you pass away and drop dead today. Now what? Yeah. Now you now you 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 did all this just to leave with just this and that. Now what about yeah. what? Not only your immediate family. What have you left for for your bloodline to build on? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. What, what? Nothing. Now, now everybody's starting back from scratch. And mostly people don't even do do the basics as far as at least passing away with a damn life insurance policy. Now we gotta start back from zero again. It's no it's no way in the world it should be a sin for us for us to put us leave ourselves in position to pass away without without leaving something for our for our kids to start to have a head start. It's like no matter what, they shouldn't be starting at the same level we did. It's, it's like that's retarded. Yeah, especially if we had the audacity to be in certain in certain fields and in certain industries. Uh, I mean, I can't I can't say it any better. I can't say it any better. I can't say it any different. You know, I, you know, even just you know, it seems like you watch a decent amount of interviews or take in the things around you. I watch like a lot of interviews. You know, even like I don't agree with everything that they say, but I take my, you know, bits and pieces and nuggets like the, the, uh, my goddamn dad. You know what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. said this a lot. Like, I'm hustling for my last name, not my first. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm hustling mm-hmm. for my last name. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some things. Even dads, yeah. though. Don't, a lot of people don't like them, right? And it, yeah. it, sometimes it can be difficult to, you know, but you got to buy. One thing people got to identify about Dash is no, no matter how old he is, or how, what level of success, how much money, he still has the absolute exact, if not more, like like his the the the, the frustration inside of his hunger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. this, this dude is still like like and and, and, look, and and to be honest with you, that's that's how we need to be because even even when even when we when we become successful on a certain level, we need we need to consume the success, let it digest, reset, and go back like 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 we ain't did shit. I'm not. I've never. People are like, oh, you, I don't. I don't got nothing. I ain't did nothing yet. I'm. I'm. I, every time I, I, I succeed in, in on a new level, I remind myself of that because it's so many. It's so much more that we can do. Sure, I'm looking at guys right now. I don't know if you're uh uh like uh what's his name? J Billions. Uh, Am I billion? ML. I'm looking at this guy. ML Billion. I say what? Now I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not impressed a lot. 
But it's yeah, like I look. Well, I, somebody, somebody told me like, man, y'all, y'all need a link. Y'all need a link. He, he on, he on the same thing that you doing or whatever like that. He like that. He like, man. I said, I looked at one. I, 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 I seen, I seen this dude creating his own uh city. Yeah. I say, wait a minute. But in, in, in relation to the things that we're talking about, in the way that you know, on the level that we're talking about, like, like for our people. You know what I'm saying? Self-sufficient, non-government. You know what I'm saying? I, I say, whoa, let me yeah. sit the fuck down and pay attention. And so, see, when stuff like that happens, when we see when we see some of our people, it's like it's like we got all of us are players to the game. You know what I'm saying? Like like, but the problem is that people don't know don't are not humble enough to identify. It's like it's like I know who I am, and nobody can take away who I am and my value. It don't matter who you place me in the room with. You know what I'm saying? I'm exactly. not going to feel it. That's my vibe. That's my vibe. I don't, I don't, you know, not, I hate that I interrupted, but. No, nah, good. Like, I, I wish more people would, would embrace that. I am who I am. I am who I am. I'm on the path that I'm on. Nobody can stop that. And shit, I, I wish more people would have the confidence within themselves. Yeah. You know, nobody, I can't stop nothing that nobody else got. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Bro, so that means we don't gotta limit. We don't have to limit because what happened? The ego kicks in. So, so when yeah. the ego kicks in, so the ego tells like, okay, I, I'm gonna surround my. Because you need, we need people. We need, we need a team. Because we we need a team. It's like only so much you can do on your own, right? So, so, but it's like, so, but, but you, but, but, but like I say, when, when that star start, when that, when that light starts to hit certain types of people that haven't become one within themselves, it's like that they, they feel like. Like the the more people that they bring in, or it's not it's not it's not the number of people because you have you can have a you can have a thousand followers, but what it, what is what is those well, those thousands worth versus to ten strong, you know uh you know self made individuals that that have that have a word, you know what I'm saying stuff like that. So it's like you got the people that only surround themselves by 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 so, lack of better words peons, you know what I'm saying like. Like they only yeah. about, about by yes men, people that are not gonna challenge anything. You know what I'm saying? That that they feel that they do. You see what I mean? Like like to to me that that's a form of weakness, and that that actually stunts that individual's growth. See me personally, I'm going. I'm gonna do the exact. I, I want to put myself constantly in a room with people that are that are damn near on the god level of the things that they're doing. You see what I mean? And 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 and, and I want and I want to and I want to be the weakest in the room walking in. You know what I'm saying, so to speak, right? So it's like I, yeah. it's like I, I want to be in a room full with challenges, challenges. You see what I mean? Yeah. Uh, because when I walk out that room, it's like what? L- l- watch me now. You see what I mean? Because it's yeah. like, are you gonna break a fold or, or are you gonna adapt? So so also if I'm in if I'm in a room surrounded by everybody that's on they uh, that's on they guy level, it, I have no other choice but to tap into my guy level. If, if I allow myself, if I if I drop my ego, and I allow myself to be one with myself, and and then I embrace, I embrace the power that everybody else brings, the, the information and the knowledge that that another person can can share with me. Because because this is the thing about information, what people don't understand, it's all it's all it's all about concept and perspective. It because it, the same information, the, inf- the information is gonna change once it's passed. Which means now, once you want, once, once this guy body passed the information to me and to my mind, and I understand it the way you do, now I'm gonna transfer it back in the way that I understand it now in a different approach, slightly different, but but mm-hmm. a slight a slightly different perspective and a new concept gives a whole new understanding for all of us. If the individual that passed me the information is, is willing to take it back, you see what I mean? So it's supposed to be <laughs> duplicated. If information is posted, it, and if information is infinite. You know, they say knowledge is power. It can create good or it can create bad. So how are we going to use it? How are we going to use this power? You that know, be, That becomes the question at hand. So now, overall, bro, like, what do you, you know, you reach, obviously, you reach reaching out, trying to build, like, a team, a super team, connect with individuals. What do you feel like, what do you feel like you need from me? Or what do you feel like, how do you feel like I can add to what you got going on or assist in what you got going on? And just and, and, and listening to me speak for a little bit, a little bit, and us exchanging information. How do you feel? How do you feel I can help what you got going on or be of some legitimate assistance? Well, well, instantly, uh, I see. I look at uh, I look at areas that I can kind of either assist or fill voids in based on what you, what you say that you're that you're doing and or trying to do or trying to accomplish. 
and then I try to compliment those. And then at the same time, you know, I, I add I add my pieces to the puzzles, you know, to help to help to help, you know, drive drive the train home. Like I said, when I when I you know, uh you're focusing in on 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 getting the deals, closing the deals, you know, uh, re, re, uh, building the credit, restoring the credit. I said, okay, cool. That that means okay. If you got you got that on lock, cool. I'm yeah. a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna fo- focus on this because because after we after everything's solidified, that's that's gonna be it's gonna be another it's gonna be another problem. You know what I'm saying? We we we, we, we got we got two hundred fifty thousand uh, worth of debt left over. <laughs> you know, <laughs> now we gotta deal with the debt. So 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 that so that's my thing. I I, I focus in I focus in on on the contracts. Uh, uh discharging the debt if possible and providing ve- financial vehicles investment vehicles that give our people the privacy and, pr- and protection that we need to really generate build and transfer re- uh wealth so if i had so if i had some clients hypothetically if i have some clients right now that would like want to get rid of mortgages or even me looking for refinances right now and considering getting more mortgages like what would be what would be the proper way or, or what, even just setting something up with you to where now I consult with you either be myself or whether it be, you know, other individuals who want to structure these, 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 these debt vehicles properly the first time around instead of getting into something and now become a big thing that has to be unraveled later. What would be our process in, 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 in linking and making something happen from the beginning so that now we don't create a problem that's too hard for us collectively to get rid of down the line? A hundred percent guaranteed, and that's exactly the best approach to it. It's all about prevention or putting ourselves in the best position to deal with whatever, whatever, if need be, or if that's the direction that, that we or our clients decide to go in. And most people, and, and that involves uh, that, that involves a little bit more time in the beginning because it involves education, which is the most important part fact of everything. You see what I mean? So, uh, see, in general, because if, if we if we talk about on your side of defense as far as like your client uh, your clientele base and stuff like that. It is just it's really simple, honestly, as far as the whole the whole uh understanding of, 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 of going into contract. So pretty much just me and you building, you're gonna you're gonna know how. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna know how and you're gonna just relay the information to the clients. You're gonna make sure that they're you you're gonna you, you would manage that situation. You know what I'm saying? It should be a, it's you know, it, me and you talking, you know, like I said, I'm we run it down to you one time, you're gonna get it. And that's it. You know, then from there we, we just cre- we just create a plan. Now, now off the books we have we have, off the record we have to discuss, uh, you know, how we would restructure that plan uh, in the case where, you know, we we removed a li- uh you know mortgage liability from a client, you know, as far as you know payment options and you know things like that. Uh, but in essence, you know, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of things we could do even in relation to the debt to credit. Uh, portfolios and things like that. It's, and then, I, yeah, I'm I, interested in it all. I'm interested in it all, and even just beyond. I'm gonna put it to you like it's something that like you showed me, and I learned it the first time, and then I wouldn't perpetually need you in order to move forward and do it. Just you being an individual that seeks knowledge, it's more than just the tacit thing that someone gives you or the tangible thing that someone somebody gives you. Like, okay, yeah, raise a game. This now, it's the first. No, yes. Yeah. He, he's an asset because he's constantly seeking knowledge. He has a mindset. He has a spirit about him. So, okay, yeah, I may not need to be on this line for 30 minutes at a time to do yeah. credit restoration. But now he's in, in, in a brain trust in the nucleus. He's that arm where it's just like, okay, in a circle, four guys or a, a, a bunch of people who we a circle, but everybody's back is to each other. We all looking outward. So now you got your post. I got my post. He got his post. He got his post. And now we turn around periodically to huddle up in the middle and that's exchange it. information to make that's, a strong nucleus. That's that's how that's how that's how that's how we do it, bro. You know that that's, yeah. it's really that. So I mean, like uh, outside of that, on, on on some other basic level of things, like I said, it's some serious things we we can do. Uh, on a lot of different aspects of uh, law and contracts and stuff like that, but even on the basic levels of other other uh, you know, so I have a lot, I have a lot of I have extensive extensive background with a lot of different things or whatever. Uh, also uh, had a, a, a graphic design, web design, media company um, as well. So like I said, when I when I look at when I look at your page and I look at you know the industry that you're in, I automatically see. You know the elements that I can add that I can add to it 
Uh, and yeah, I want to sexy it up a little bit. I want to sexy it up a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about drone outside, action, drone action, multimedia, you know, pro, you know, just we can go crazy. We can just, we can just, yeah. you know, just, just dress it up like crazy, you know. And those are things I could do just by snapping my fingers, bro. You know, th- these right. are the elements. But, I mean, that that's what happens when, like I say, you already said it. It's all about, th- this is what happens when you, when you marry, you know, in, in certain relationships that complement each other, you see what I mean? Yeah. It's like yeah. you know, and and these, those are items that sit on my shelf that I'm not even doing anything with, as far as like provide, as far as like a, a public service to, uh, you know, to the to people anymore. But these are things that are available for 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 my partners and my you know my brothers that I'm building with because these are the things right that we need to make to make us have the appearance. Because honestly, honestly, I'm honestly speaking. Because I bumped heads with so many different people on so many different levels. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, bro, it, it's not a lot of of competition as far as uh, 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 a team, you know, of people that that are with the shits on so many different levels. You know what I'm saying? Agree. I, you know, I toss that I toss that statement out there a, a lot, bro. That the barrier to entry, the barrier to entry on a lot of things, specifically in the real estate, specifically Chicago real estate, is not that high just because of people. It takes a mindset of just willing to do the shit that nobody's willing to do. Prime example, mm-hmm. like, bro, I, the, the lifeblood of my business is just attacking and meticulously going through free records. <laughs> attacking and meticulously going through free public information. It's tedious, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I've trained people... I've done it enough to where I can train people to do it in volume. So now I have a system built up on doing the shit that nobody wants to do. Like garbage companies make a lot of money. Nobody wants to, nobody grows up wants to be a garbage man. To exactly. see the kind of revenue they never generate. You see what I'm saying? Nobody yep. wants to look at computer saved or a uh, 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 pop up documents of forty and thirty and forty page long mortgages in order to find certain information that they need in order to determine whether a deal on the south or west side of Chicago is a good deal. Nobody wants to do it. Everybody just wants to pluck it off Zillow. I've done it enough yep. to where I've trained a virtual assistant in order to do it, and I can get color-coded and notated lists that are more <laughs> accurate than the shit that people buy off of these third-party websites. Mm-hmm. So, again, I'm relating on that level. Like, yeah, there's not a there's not a high barrier to entry to a lot of shit. The barrier to entry is effort. Definitely. Absolutely. So, I totally understand that on all fronts. It's just being willing to do, willing to do, willing to try, willing to tinker with, willing to experiment with, willing to motion, willing to pay for, willing to invest in the shit that everybody else wants served up on a plate. Yep. You can get it served up on a plate. You just yep. have to play, pay the served up on the plate price. Yep. It's yep. That simple. You know yep. what I'm saying? That That's really like, applies to a it's, lot of it's, it's like, okay, cool. We'll do the work. Don't worry. Sit back. Because, because people are people in general – are suckers for convenience. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So okay, they, they don't want to do the work, they don't want to put it in the time, but they they want the rewards. They like they want to start off. They want to people people want to jump into the real estate game. They want to start off where you where you at right now. How? What what well, well, I just want to know everything. You know I just want to pick your brain. You know what people exactly. tell me that I just want to pick your brain. Even if <laughs> I I tell them, look, even, even, look, even if I can even if I gave you a thumb drive you know what I'm saying? With all the, everything I know in my head, you still got to interpret. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You still got to interpret it. Like you feel like even convenience. Now we have we can access public records or whatnot on the computer. You talking to somebody that was 18 and 19? I still have notebooks. And when I used to go down to the courthouse and write that shit down by hand, <laughs> you want assistance? You want VA? I had yeah. I have dissertation long emails that are color coded and with pictures. And, and examples of showing VAs on how to do it because I did it myself. You know, I, I have a service where if somebody wanted to put out signs or advertisements in order to get leads uh, for for real estate in certain parts of town, I can in two text messages I can have a neighborhood covered with advertisements in order for you to get leads, right? Because I've trained somebody in order to do that, and I can get that done for someone. The problem, what well, the problem is, or for someone to fast track that process, you forget the part that I spent every Friday night, every right. Friday night in 2018, doing this shit myself. Mm-hmm. I would leave my boxing workout, not take a shower, go home, put together signs, and spend the rest of the night putting out signs myself. So now, yeah, I can tell you about, I can tell you what parts of town you can get busy in and what parts of town you can't. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, absolutely. 
you know, I could go down my list of examples, but yeah, relating relating again there where service and can are areas where there will forever be a void because everybody always wants it. Yep. And the X factor is the hard work. <laughs> yep. The experience behind it. You can't you can't you can't experience don't come in a book. You know? It just it just don't. And, and, and to be honest, the, the real game is only understood when you put your feet in the, on, the, on that on that pavement. You know, when you hit that yeah. pavement. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because Absolutely. what's happening is people don't understand. They try to skip steps. You're gonna end up spending more time and more money because you're gonna be double tracking, backtracking, starting back from scratch. This is that. You know, and and, and 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 low key at the end of the day, we didn't skip that. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of because because you get you you have to learn which doors which doors are, are, are most benefit, which doors you shouldn't even entertain, which direction. But you don't know until you start moving and going and building on that. But that comes with the experience. So you can't people want to skip the experience and just jump in the game and think they're gonna they're gonna be multimillionaires in the first. Well, it depends. And like it depends on who you you know who who who's your mentorship. You know I don't know, but. I tell people like you can't skip the work. You can't. You can't skip. You can't skip, skip the work, no matter what. And you can tell them that, and they can. They can choose to listen. They can choose to, you know, like I, I've got countless examples, man, of how we didn't gave people the real. We didn't host the events. We didn't show people the websites we use. We didn't show people what our process is, and not held nothing back. And then challenge, challenge people to to put it together, and then act on it themselves. And people that paid good money to come listen to me and some of my partners speak on some of the things we're doing in Chicago. And personally called every single one of them a month later to see yeah. Yeah, like, what their pro- progress yeah, what's was. And, <laughs> and, a, and a very high percentage hadn't done anything. So, yeah. you know, you can't put yourself and your drive and your determination and your mm-hmm. spirit in other people. So we could sp- speak for another hour on that. Um, mm-hmm. What do you need from me now, man? Like, 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 how do we get, even on a low level, just getting something going? What, 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 what do you need from me? Uh, honest, okay, so I want to start, I want to start, uh, like I said, with with the concepts that we spoke about earlier, uh, it's some things that I want to start rolling out and and uh, to go through, you know, the the, the the test runs, the trials and tribulations of of uh, perfecting, still perfecting those areas of process. So uh, I want to I want to put together a program. I want to do about ten people on for the for the mortgages. I want to do I want to do ten ten mortgages. Ten autos and ten student loans as trial as trial runs, and Very and, nice. and the only thing they'll be paying is like a hefty consultation fee. So it's like, you know, uh, and that'll be that that that'll be that. And then we'll use those as, as evidence and proofs of those individual areas of, of different processes as far as and then like I say once we get once we get uh ten successfully done in each area then we, we put the stamp on it uh and we go public we go hard you know and, and put and put the marketing horse behind it and uh, and that's what it is. And that just that just ten autos, ten, ten autos, ten student loans, ten autos, ten student loans, ten mortgages uh, and ten mortgages. You wanna take people, have them pay a consultant fee. Um, have them pay a consultant fee and then have and then use them as the guinea pigs to get it going and then from there now that's something that you can go public with. Um, how how is that consultant fee? Is is it a percentage of the actual debt? Because I'm just thinking about clients like I have people on my waiting list now that want me and for me to give the best service to everybody who I'm dealing with. I'm only taking a certain amount of people per, at a time. Right. But like I have people waiting for me to come back to them and say, okay, now I'll take you on and I'll take your. Like I literally won't even accept their money now mm-hmm. because I just want to be able to be available and present for you know, like I said, each person it takes me to do along with my life, my deals, everything I got going on. It takes me three and a half hours to do a person start to finish and put all that paperwork together using my methods. Mm-hmm. So you know, like I said, I got like I had to rush down to the post office to send some stuff off yesterday, and I'm about to get my stamps.com account going, so I'll never have to send them stupid ass lines again. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, like I have, I have clients, I have clients or I have prospects that I know would want to jump on this type of stuff. But again, obviously pricing, like what what does this look like as far as whatever account an individual is trying to get removed? How do you determine your pricing? Right. Okay. So, all right. So that. All right. So let's on that note, because I don't want to throw that out here, because it one is on the public uh, what's name. So, uh, yeah. so we'll let's let's uh, let's link back up 
uh, rather it's you know later on tonight or tomorrow uh, in private, and uh, we'll 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 put all that we'll throw all that stuff out there. But in general, uh, like I said, sure you you got you got my personal line, and uh, you know uh, I'm the type of, like I'm up all night, you know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I you know we we had this conversation, so I'll be I'll I'll be sleeping and meditating on some things. So I, I'm the type yeah. I'll just be I'll just be sh- like showing you different links or information or stuff stuff just to sleep on and look over, and then we come back. Yeah. We come back to the boy, like, okay, so what you think? You know what I'm saying? We just play devil's advocate and really just piece, just piece, just piece stuff together and, uh, and put together a system, uh, an assembly line type of system that, you know. That, I'm that's, all for assembly lines, man. Yep, all, assembly I'm, 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 you know, Autom- J.C. Morgan and, uh, what, uh, and Henry Ford, and I'm all for assembly lines. That's how my mind operates. How do we match this with this, yep. this to this to where it all flows? That, I mean, shit. That's mm-hmm. what I'm all about. Assembly line and automation. That's how that's how I like it. Okay, so think about it. You know, take you know, breathe, marinate, meditate, think, sleep. You know, get 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 to a clear space. Let's let's relink this up. You know, you have my personal line. I have your personal line. We're gonna keep this going. This is the first of many productive conversations, man. I thoroughly enjoy this. Vice right, versa, bro. So uh, good good to meet you, and uh, definitely look forward to doing some serious things with you. So let's go. Absolutely, bro. Give us some thought, and then let's link it up again soon. Oh, so uh, so okay, so we so we using this for promo too. So uh, so let let everybody know where they can find you at. Then I'll let everybody know where they can find me. Oh, um, you can find me. Uh, mainly you can find me on uh Facebook. Um, uh, JD Boss Houses, Instagram okay. JD Boss Houses. Not really much for Snapchat or whatever. Um, okay. um I have my website uh buymyhousejd.com. I'm developing. That's more so for inbound leads. We're getting uh, more so of a content website built up now. Um, and then Hellraiser, I believe your IG is what? Hell to Razor. Uh, uh, Hell. Uh, yep. Yep. Hell, Hell to Razor. H A I L number two R A Z O R. Yes, sir. And Absolutely. You, YouTube is the Hellraiser. Uh, Facebook, my Facebook's kind of full. Uh, other than that, you guys can uh, also, you can always uh, contact, uh, you know, uh, Toll free at 888-597-8825, extension 101 for Trey Capital. If you guys are interested in the business formations and uh, the tr- uh, trust investment vehicles and things of that nature. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. This was awesome. I look forward to doing some things in the very